Hi, I'm Dr. Everett McCorvey, and I am Creative Lexington. I grew up in Montgomery, Alabama. My father was a deacon at the church where Ralph Abernathy was a minister, First Baptist Church. Martin Luther King lived right around the corner from my house. And the whole civil rights movement in the 60s was part of my life. As I was going through junior high school, I said, they may not like me because I'm black. I said, they may not like me because I'm overweight. But I said, I will work hard in my talent so that they at least respect me. Because I thought that perhaps could be my talent that was my way out of the difficulty that was brought on by uh, intolerance and segregation that was happening in the South. When I moved to New York to freelance, uh, as an artist, I'd finished my bachelor's and my master's degree. Then I heard about a production of Porgy and Bess that was going to be in New York at Radio City Music Hall. And I went up and auditioned and I got a role. You know, I was um, a young boy from Alabama cast in a major New York production that toured all over the world. And, um, and so when it closed, I didn't know what I was going to do. I wrote down every talent that I thought I had, every gift that I thought I had. And armed with that list, I went back to New York. And every Monday, my task was to take that list out and make some sort of connection based on that list. It was amazing. It was like within a year, I realized that I could really make it in New York. So I did that until I met my wife and realized that I wanted to go back to school and get my doctorate and, uh, and, and teach. I started at UK in 1991. The first 15 years we were in, in, really in a building phase. If you want the best singers in the country, you've got to have a great opera program and the programs that we present are not your everyday college level opera programs. I would put these on par with major regional opera companies. I'm very passionate about the program, I'm passionate about the students, and so I want them to have the types of opportunities that any major conservatory in the world could have. We are now a major player, so in the vocal world, people know about the University of Kentucky. So now it's bourbon, horses, and opera. <laughs> There's a spirit here that you don't find in other, in other cities. I will call it the creative and entrepreneurial spirit, which makes Lexington a very different city from other cities our size. One of my goals for being involved in the community so is, is that I want to make the arts so ingrained in the fabric of our community that when decisions in government are being made about what to cut, the arts are not always on the table. Why is it that we want to cut something out that really helps us to identify who we are? Please support your local arts because we are Creative Lexington. <laughs> <laughs>